My name is Patrick Troithart. I am an astronomer at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, and I am interested in the study of galaxy shapes and the underlying physical processes that determine those shapes. Spiral Graph is a project that's dedicated to measuring the winding of spiral arms in galaxies. The winding of spiral arms in galaxies has been shown to correlate with parameters of galaxies that are much harder to measure. There seems to be a correlation between the tightness of the wrapping of the arms and the mass of the supermassive black hole that we find in the nucleus of these galaxies. Every galaxy we look at, all different types of galaxies, seem to have supermassive black holes in their nuclei. But it's really unknown how these supermassive black holes can form and grow so massive in such a short period of time. So these supermassive black holes range from millions to billions of times the mass of the sun. And then the other type of black hole that we see are what, what are called stellar mass black holes. And they range from, you know, maybe 10 times the mass of the sun to, you know, a few hundred times the mass of the sun. But what we're really missing is black holes in between those mass ranges, between stellar mass and supermassive. And we call these intermediate mass black holes. And so what we're hoping to identify using our citizen science project is to hopefully find galaxies that may host intermediate mass black holes, gather them all together and see what's common about them to kind of identify what stopped the growth of the supermassive black hole in the nucleus. And maybe that can tell us something about galaxy evolution. To participate in Spiral Graph, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really take much. You don't have to be an expert to, to be able to, to work on this project. We just want you to trace along the arms of the galaxy, like as many arms as you feel comfortable tracing. From that, we can actually identify where the spiral arms are and then hopefully use the black hole mass relationship to identify the mass of the black hole from that. So the reason why we need people to do this rather than just doing it in an automatic way is that computers actually have a hard time seeing the structure of these galaxies but people have a really easy time seeing patterns. So having people identify where the spiral structure is actually gives some of these automated processes a boost. Some of the interesting things that citizen scientists have found in this project have been surprising. Volunteers have identified an asteroid in one of the images. They've identified a satellite, a tumbling satellite streaking through one of the images. We've found some non-barred ring galaxies, which are actually very rare. And we've also found some supernovae as well. I think we've found two so far. Ultimately, the best case scenario in my mind is that we are able to shed some light on early galaxy formation, which really isn't well known.